here we go for another one. Ugh. Good night. What is this? Ugh. You know, I love the TV show, even though the sad thing is they never got off the island. I don't know why the fuck. You got a, you got a nerd right there, and yet... You got a nerd, you got a doctor who could possibly get you off the freaking island, and yet you wouldn't get off the goddamn island. Idiots. But yes, this is Gilligan's Island, another shit-tastic game brought to us by Bandai 1989. And trust me, this is going to be a very, 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 very short review of this game. Episodes. They're all done in episodes. And yet the thing is, with this being Gilligan's Island, it it's just not doing anything. I'm sorry, but this game is like, I don't know what. Oh no, here it is, everyone. It looks like a storm is coming tonight. We're going to have to build a large umbrella. Shut up, Gilligan. We have to build a hut to protect us from the storm. I want everyone to help gather the necessary materials. The professor will fix the transmitter. Oh yeah, let him fix the transmitter. Marianne will make dinner, of course. You make some sandwiches! And and the house cut logs. The house won't do shit, you know that. A howl does not. A howl never does any work that requires manual labor. Go find a contractor and be quick. You lazy bastard. Never mind, I'll do it myself. Go again! Has picked a place to build the hut. It's right where he's standing now. Oh, shit. Oh, boy! This is a great spot to build a hut! <sighs> Already, this game has just went... Just... The... The... It's just went from goddamn to... Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, you play as Skipper and Gilligan, and Gilligan, of course, follows you everywhere you go. Uh, dumb AI for the lose. Shut up, Gilligan! Hey there. Mrs. Howe is with Mr. Howe. No, really? I swear, it's like, you think, like, if you had the most richest people, the most richest people on, on the island, you would think, oh, if you had the most richest people on the island, you would think they have some kind of influence to actually have some sort of, I don't know, Link to the outside world if it's if it's gonna be like that. I mean, I'm sorry, but this game it fails. It fails being part of well, what the series was supposed to be about. So we get some rope, I believe. And why am I playing a game like this? I have no fucking clue. You know what? Why don't you die? There you go. There's no point in this game. Yeah, there's no point in this game. There is no point in this game whatsoever. You get two pieces of food, three rope, and yet 
for some strange awkwardness, they tally up your score. Really. 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 Fine. Whatever. Because I don't... Because I am a fan of the show, I really wish they did something a little more. And the thing is, you can't really skip all this shit. That's the sad thing. You can't skip all this text. And I'm pressing start. I'm pressing A, B... Okay, now get... Now we can get through this. Of course... We have to get to the house. Select, of course, pulls up your map and your food and your rope. And the thing is, you know, everything is so random. They put everything in such a random order, it's just, well, stupid. And you're gonna tell me that they haven't done shit. Of course. I'm sorry, but, you know, for a show that says, oh, well, um, more rope. Gilligan, get your ass over here. We're about to find these dumbasses who can't even lift a finger to save their own asses. So, you follow me. Oh, lovely. Where are we now? Are we any closer to... Okay, fine. Well, you know what? This game is full of fail. I mean, if you were a fan of the show, you'd want to stay away stay away from this version. The only version that I don't know how Bandai did it, but they actually made a game based off of the TV show. Oh, there you are. You haven't fixed those ham sandwiches yet. Oh, down. oh dear, Mr. Howe looks like he lost something. Really? Because if he had lost his mind, he already lost his mind, like, by the time he actually showed up. I mean, I'm calling up on the map. And, yeah, it doesn't make sense. I keep questioning myself, why am I playing a shitty game like this? I could be wasting my time playing Shining Force. Apparently I'm not. I mean, I've seen... I've seen a walkthrough of this. Trust me, even if, even if this, even if somebody brave, somebody with enough sense did a walkthrough of this, I wouldn't. Because that's the kind of guy I am. And to call it the Adventures of Gilligan's Island. That's even a bigger letdown. <sighs> and... You're gonna have to stay right behind me, you dumbass.
that's the only way you can actually get through is by turbo. If you have a turbo controller, I suggest you use it. Of course, I don't see the point of why I'd be wanting to play a game like this. Even though I love the series. And what are you lazy bastards up to? I'm not speaking to Mr. Howard until his ring is found. Well, what do you have to say, Mr. Magoo? I've lost my wedding band. Does anybody know where it is? Have you actually gone off your ass and looked for it, sir? I've seen many people who have tried to play this game. I'm attempting to actually make something worthwhile of this piece of shit. Even though I know that playing this game is like more trouble than it's worth. I know it to be true. This game is more trouble than it's worth. And this is what happens when you leave Gilligan behind. So in order for you to get back to Gilligan, you must... Well... Find yourself back up. I mean, it would have been something if, if the skipper just did all that work, and you gotta walk all the way back just to find this dumbass of a deckhand of yours. Thankfully, you can use the rope to, uh, the rope, the map to actually find your dumbass partner. This game is full of dumbassery. Yes, yes, I know. Hey, dumbass! Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Alright, little dumbass, come with me. Walk with me, talk with me. Get bitten by snakes and rodents and shit. Not like I actually give a damn. Uh, skipper! Skipper! Hang on, little buddy! No. Not for me, sir. I mean, I have my fun with- I have my fun with this game, but you know. It's becoming tedious trying to keep track with somebody who just doesn't follow you when you really need to be followed. So... There, there are no, there are no good points to this game. I 
mean, after all these times, I would think, okay, what you need to do is kick Gilligan's ass. I mean, controls aside, <sighs> controls aside, if this game was a little bit better, And you wouldn't have to do this shit over and over and over again. Trying to look for one person! I'm quite curious as to what would happen if you weren't... If you weren't going to find Gilligan in time. The ultimate ending would be that Gilligan was the last one standing and and he got eaten by rabbit squirrels or some shit like that I mean you know if you rather stay with me please stay with me Skipper! Skipper! Walk with me, you fat bastard! Please walk me. What kind of And look how Gilligan is just standing there like a dumbass. Was he of any help? Hell no, he was not. He was not of any help to the crew whatsoever. He was just the village idiot. But you know what? We're not going to push continue because we're not going to continue because this is bullshit. This game has proven beyond a shadow of that that's what happens when you have dumbass AI following with you. It's not like with Tales of Sonic the Hedgehog, in which he knows when to follow you and knows how to help you. This is just dumbass bullshittery control beyond a shadow of doubt. Uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt, and this game has earned the right to be shitastic. Beyond all means, it is by far one of the most shittiest games on the Nintendo Entertainment System. The Adventures of Gilligan's Island, a.k.a. Gilligan's Island, brought to us by Bandai of 1989. Please, don't ever get lost with this game, or else you'll live to regret it. I'll see you around with some Shining Force.